Hello everyone, welcome back to the last video on the zodiac signs. We have been doing the series of zodiac signs and today we have reached the last zodiac sign of Pisces. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, then please go and click in the bell where you see the notifications. And if you do this, you will be getting emails when I upload these beautiful videos for you every day. Okay. So let us see what is the sign of Pisces, who are these people. Okay. And by Pisces, I mean those people who are having prominent planets like the sun, the moon and the lord of the ascendant. If you do not know what is ascendant, then go and watch the video in the series. First house, ascendant and ascendant lord. Okay. And we will see who these people are, what are the traits of these people. Okay. And before beginning, as I always say that, and today I must say this because it is the sign of Pisces. That God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there for you. Okay. So, Pisces is a water sign. Okay. Water sign represents high emotions, connectivity at the emotional level. Okay. Being very compassionate, being very kind, very considerate. It's a very feminine sign. It's a very soft, loving, caring, soothing, calm, calm sign. And it also represents nourishing others. The mother always nourishes the child. Okay. So, it is a dual sign which means it is a movable as well as it is a fixed sign. Okay. And who is the ruler of this sign? Yes, it is the most benefit of all planets. It is, yes, you are right. It is Jupiter. Jupiter is the owner of the sign. The other sign Jupiter rules is the sign of Sagittarius. Okay. So these people are extremely compassionate because it is ruled by Jupiter. And because this is the sign, sign of Pisces where Venus finds its highest dignity which is known as exaltation in astrology. We will discuss about exaltation later. But exaltation signs simply mean that a planet which is exalted in a particular sign gives uh, the best results or is the most happiest or the significations of that planet is at the topmost. Okay. Now, Venus gets exalted here in Pisces. Okay. First, we will discuss about Pisces and then we will see why does Venus gets exalted here. Okay. Now, these people are very compassionate. They love to do things for others because Pisces is the original 12th house, the last zodiac uh, sign of the belt okay uh, that is why these people love to give away the things which they possess at times okay of course depending on the other placements of the planets and then these people are extremely artistic because venus which is the significant of art creativity dance media and social life gets its highest exaltation here so there are no people who are more artistic than the people who have prominent planets in the sign of Pisces. Okay, they are extremely creative. Creativity is at the peak and their intuition is very strong because it is the 12th house of, uh, of your inner subconscious uh, issues which you have. Okay, so at times when these people feel that something is going wrong, somebody is trying to do wrong with them, it actually happens that... Uh, their intuition was correct okay and they're extremely gentle they're very soft they're very loving very caring because it's a water sign that too it is ruled by jupiter sagittarius is a fire sign so there is some amount of strictness and authority and discipline in that sign okay because it it is the sign of law religion spirituality this is also the sign of spirituality but this is a very calm and soft sign these people uh, they say that Your goal of uh, spirituality is to make you happy and to make you peaceful and to let go of things. Yes, Sagittarius says, do this, do that. You have to do this, you have to do that. Sagittarius is a very strong sign. Pisces is a very mild sign. Pisces is the result of Sagittarius, okay? Because it is fourth. 
from the sign of Sagittarius. Fourth house is the house of happiness. So the happiness which you get when you are in the sign of Sagittarius, what you ultimately become is the sign of Pisces. That means when you practice spirituality, you become more and more happier, you become more and more soft, you become more and more loving, more and more caring and you like to give away the things, you like to focus on God and universal consciousness is the sign of Pisces because it is the ultimate sign, it is the most spiritual sign of the zodiac. Okay, so these people love to talk uh, on the level of the universe. They will perhaps uh, never ever think of themselves before they think of others. Okay, these people are extremely humane, they love to do charitable work. Okay, now. At times they can be uh, fearful also at times. These are some drawbacks, okay. And they can have a desire to escape the reality. <laughs> now this is not uh, in a negative sense, but um, they, can, they can see that this world is difficult, this world is tough. And so let's go and do some meditation. <laughs> now this is not actually escaping the world. This is escaping to the reality. People call this an escape. Okay, escaping from the reality. But I call it escape to the reality. Because actual reality is not in this world. Actual reality is in God. Okay. Of course, this world is also real. This world is not fake. This world is having an existential quantifiable reality. But uh, ultimate truth is in God. Okay. Everything falls apart when that reality creeps in okay so uh, we will discuss about the that reality and what is uh, escape to the reality and the perceived notion of escaping from the reality is later but as of now i would say these people like to be alone they like to sleep and they love this music and romance and at times swimming also they like because it is the sign of fish okay fish is always swim and because of this, uh, they can be very attached to places near water or they may like to live near the sea or the ocean, etc. Okay. And they dislike cruelty very much. I know many of my friends who have this sign prominent. They, they always want to protect the animals and they want to go against the slaughterhouses which are there for chickens, goats, cows and so many other animals who are... Uh, mercilessly killed okay and they can stand up for righteous causes okay and they are very much empathic and they are, they are very much connected emotionally and because neptune is also the ruler of the sign some authors consider neptune as also the ruler so these people are highly intuitive because neptune is the power of intuition okay and uh, these people are having uh, interests in music from the beginning stages of their life okay and what else to be said these people are full of wisdom they have a lot of realizations because it is like saying the planet which is there in pisces it has traveled every zodiac sign starting from aries to aquarius and it could not find happiness and at the end when it goes into spirituality okay when it learns that everything is a part of the plan okay when it realizes that God is there with him all the time. <laughs> He's been taken care of by God as I always say in the videos. Then these people find their ultimate fulfillment, ultimate happiness, ultimate joy in life. So this is the sign of, the sign of charity. Giving up your materialistic possessions, letting go of things, letting go of the desire to control. If somebody, something is not staying in your life, and you know it is not going to stay, then let go of it. That's what Pisces is telling. If somebody, some people, some person is not interested to stay in your life, or if life is taking away him from you, then please do not try to control him. Please do not try to keep him. Okay? Because eventually, life is anyways going to take him away from you. Life is going to strip you. Now, these people already know about this. Okay? And that is why they do not have this controller mentality. The quality which I appreciate the most in the people who have prominent planets in Pisces is the quality of universal acceptance. Okay, they can accept you the way they are or the way you are. Okay, 
Why? Because Venus gets exalted here. And what is Venus? Venus is love, romance, creativity, relationships. And what is the ultimate uh, expression of love? That the person accepts you the way you are, right? He does not expect you to change. He may want you to improve, which is not bad. Which is good actually and which should be there, okay? Uh, but uh, he... Uh, he likes you the way you are. Okay. There can be improvements. Everybody needs to improve. We are not talking of improvements here. But generalistic traits of a person. The way he talks. The way he laughs. The way he smiles. The way he does things. Okay. Universal acceptance. Because Pisces, Pisces is a very broad minded sign. Okay. Perhaps the most broad minded sign. And these people are very chill. You go and you can go and talk with them regarding anything, and they they will uh, respect your opinion because they are very deep inside. They are very thoughtful. They are very philosophical. At times, even more than the sign of Sagittarius. Okay. Now, only uh, difference between Sag and Pisces is that these people may not be at times very strictly rooted to some religious path. They some specific religious path. Uh, on the other hand, Sagittarius people are very much committed. Yes, I am a Hindu, I am a Muslim, I am a Christian. And they follow their tradition also, which ultimately leads them to the sign of Pisces, where they love uh, everybody. And that's what is the goal of religion, right? That is what is the goal of spirituality, okay? Not that these two are distinctly uh, disjoint sets, but uh, this is the... Uh, apparent difference okay there is not much difference but pisces is what you become ultimately when you continue to follow the sign of sagittarius and then the people who have planets in pisces are the most happiest why because venus gets exalted here venus is your happiness okay they can love everybody anybody okay their love is beyond the love of the body which manifests uh, in a gross way in sexuality Okay, they, not that they do not want to have sex, but uh, these people are very humane, they are very much broad-minded and may say that love is not only for the body, it is for the soul, okay. <laughs> so they would prefer connecting a person to God rather than going and enjoying a date with them, okay. And they would preferably take them to a church or to the temple, okay, because they have found their ultimate happiness, ultimate peace, ultimate joy. And in the Hindu scriptures, we have the God whose name is Rama, okay. He is an incarnation of uh, one of the three principal gods in Hinduism, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. So, Lord Rama is one of the incarnations of Lord Vishnu, okay. And the meaning of the word Rama is Ramantiti Rama means one who gives you happiness, okay. One who is the source of all happiness. Rama, that is the meaning. Raman means happiness. Okay, So Rama is one who gives you Raman. The source of all happiness. Source of all joy. Because he is complete, he is perfect in everything you do. So once when person experiences Rama. Of course by saying Rama, I don't mean uh, Rama alone. Whichever religion you are following, whichever tradition you are following. Uh, the authorized way to go to God, every religion is bona fide without a doubt. There is no second opinion on that, at least from my side. But when you learn that the God is there with you all the time, then you become very happy. And then when you become happy, you can naturally give happiness to others. So that is why you become most cheerful, you become the most loving person in the room. And everybody just wants to be with you. Effortlessly you attract people. You may not be very beautiful. You may not be very handsome. But you have the biggest weapon of attraction. And what is that? Yes, it is happiness. One who is happy is the most attractive. Irrespective of how much money he has or how he looks or how he speaks or how he talks. Happiness is contagious. The moment you are happy, people can perceive it. And that is the time when that happiness gets transferred from you to others, okay? And that is the time when you find that your happiness has increased multiple times, okay? So that's it from my side. These are the people. These are extremely divine people. And if you have people who have prominent planets like the sun, the moon or the lord of the ascendant in the sign of Pisces, please hold on to them. They... Do not let them go, okay? Because once they decide that 
I'm done with you. I'm sufficiently irritated or frustrated with you. Trust me, they are not going to come back. Once they are gone, that means they are gone. Maybe an Aquarius will return or maybe a Scorpio will also return, but a Pisces will not return. So once they decide to go, to let go of you, they will let go of you. So do not test their patience, do not misuse their goodness, do not exploit them mentally, physically and do not take advantage of their good qualities. Be with them, help them, become like them. Okay, By saying become like them, I don't mean you become like them but try to imbibe their good qualities and their divinity and the more you stay with them, the more your divinity will increase because the element of God will increase in you. Okay. So that's it from my side. If you have any questions, queries, comments or suggestions, then please let me know in the comment box. Okay. And subscribe to my channel. That's it from my side. Bye-bye. See you.